Alright, looks like everything is working. Hello, Utopia! I know you don't know me yet, but I thought I'd start putting myself out there on the Escape a bit more. Maybe make some new connections. Uh, my name's Cannon, and the first thing you probably noticed is the white hair, right? That's right, I'm a Nanji now. I, I know most of them dye their hair to fit in, but I think I've shown a non-Gino can be quite special, and I don't want to hide who I am. I'm sure a lot of you were curious about my birth, so we can start there. Um, my bio parents didn't get the government's approval to have me, as you probably guessed. Somehow they managed to stay off the grid until I was about half a year old, and then... Thank luck I was found, because it's a lot harder to modify the genetics of someone more than a year old. I had to be in the hospital for a long time to go through the whole process, and, and they approved a new family for me while my irresponsible bio-parents were apprehended. Why are some people like that? Like, thinking that natural is somehow better than scientifically improved? They should know that non-geno children have higher risk of disease, mental deficiencies, and defiance. Like, what, what kind of parent doesn't want to protect their child from illness? I heard a long time ago that these people were common and they wouldn't even get vaccines. Like, that's, that's, that's just wild to me. It's like you're just drinking poison and someone offers to purify it for you to make it safe to drink and you refuse. I'm so glad I wasn't raised off the grid. Like, I, I can't imagine how crappy that would be. You don't mind if I say crap, right? Like, that, that won't get censored. I guess we'll see. Off grid. Insane. Just insane. People who won't let themselves be taken care of are just so ungrateful. Well, I'm not going to let the bad decision of my bios hold me back. I've fought hard to get here. And now I'm working for IOPAC, the Institute of Process and Cerebration. They've done so much for us, and it's an honor to work for them. I've always had a passion for science. It's as if it were my destiny. I know that sounds cheesy, but, you know, here I am, helping improve the human mind. I have an important job. It's... Hey, Cannon. Oh, um... Yes, Crystal? Why don't you join me in Just Friends? It's getting really good. I get to be the lovely Lauren, and it's so nice being doted on and being the center of attention and drama. You could be my best friend, Jake. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. That sounds like it could get weird. Don't be gross. You're really missing out, you know. Please go away. All right. I'll find out what happens next without you, chicken. <sighs> Sorry, that was my sister. She's a cinemality addict. I'm not a fan of cinemality. It gives me the creeps. I couldn't really tell you why, though. Trying to think about it has always drawn blanks. Everything in me just screams no about it. Makes my skin crawl. Makes me feel sick to the stomach. You know, there are some people who spend almost their entire lives in cinemality because being in a movie with AI interactions and developments is more entertaining to them than reality. Crystal might be turning into one of them, a cinema head. She's never Crystal anymore, she's always, you know, like, lovely Lorene or Princess Valerie or something stupid like that. Isn't that messed- Have you considered picking up art? Then consider becoming an artist through MindCap. Long gone are the days of spending tedious hours on paintings only to feel disappointed with the result. MindCap uses advanced AI to read the images in your mind and make them real, training itself on your preferences and aesthetics to make a style that is uniquely you. You can then fix up the result with simple or complex prompts to give it that extra human touch. MindCap. Realize your muse. What? Oh, where, where was I going with that? Whatever. IOPAC sponsored my setup, so there were bound to be ads. Well, since they brought up MindCap, I could talk about that a bit, I guess. I learned that there was a time when artists used to be afraid of AI art, but, you know, now that pretty much anyone can be an artist and make whatever they think of, the man-made stuff is worth a lot more, so it kind of did them a favor, don't you think? 
Art used to be a full-time job for very little output, but now we can all focus on having more fun because it's easier to create something. There's still, like, some people who complain that art has no soul anymore, even though something like Minecap kind of captures the soul in a way by taking your own thoughts and realizing them. I guess that's all I have to say about that. Maybe that's what this whole thing will be, just me commenting on things in modern society versus the past. If you think Minecap is incredible, wait until you see what IOPAC has been working on next. I might be able to talk about it soon, when they've lifted the no-talk order. Until then... Make your dreams come true. Hey, do you want to go hang on Friday? Oh no! I was invited to a game on Friday too! Now I'm not sure what to do! Has this ever happened to you? Sometimes it's hard to make a choice. And we here at IOPAC are here for you. My choice is an app that will help guide you when you're not sure what to do. This is how it works. First, after activating my choice, it will calculate the pros and cons of any tough decisions you need it for. It will learn which kinds of pros you prioritize and which kinds of cons you are most likely to avoid, which will allow it to suggest which choice would better suit you. The more you use my choice, the more it's your choice. Consider using my choice if you haven't yet. It's standard with all fib chips. Hello, I'm Bald Dumbo Rat, voice of canon and creator of this series. I hope you enjoyed the first look at Aristotle's Apocalypse, an analog dystopia series that is meant to be an original podcast. I came up with this story almost 20 years ago as an assignment in my AP literature class. My teacher asked me to keep a copy to present to future classes, and he encouraged me to get it published, but I wanted to add more to it before considering doing that. The problem was I didn't really have the time or patience to write a novel, and I couldn't figure out any mediums that it could work in besides writing. Recently, though, I realized it could make a great audio series, and it wouldn't need many resources to be made. Uh, this story is special to me, and I plan to bring it to everyone in 2025. It's a story that manifests old childhood fears and new fears of where society could go, taking place in a utopia-style dystopia as the main character learns of a coming apocalypse. It will feature three main characters and lots of fun ads like the ones you heard here to build on the world. I'm going to be researching how to go about making an official podcast or something like that, and I hope lots of people get to enjoy the series. If you like this, please spread the word and keep an eye out on this channel for any announcements.